welcome back to my channel. I'm Allison, and for today's video, we're doing a total body, no equipment workout. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. You don't need any equipment besides a mat. We'll be completing three blocks with four moves each for two rounds, 45 seconds on and a 20 second rest in between. I'll be demonstrating low and high impact versions for the same moves, but definitely do what's best for you. A full warm up and cool down is also included. So grab your mat and some water and let's get started. Let's warm it up. Begin with those feet shoulder width apart, hands in the quads, slow flat back down. One vertebrae at a time, round it up. Once you're here, inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale down, hands in the quads, do that two more times. Flat back, slowly round, swoop it up. Good, and one more right here. Flat back, pull the belly button tight, swoop, and bring it down. Good, nice and easy, step touches. Very nice. Again, you don't need any equipment for this workout, which is great because you can do it anywhere, whether you're traveling, at home, or in the gym. And again, I'll be demonstrating low and high versions for most of the moves, so please, please, please adjust this workout so it's best for you. All right, chest press both arms. With that step touch, start with small movements and gradually make it a little bit bigger. As you get more warmed, making sure the knees are soft, heels are down, abs are tight. Good, both arms overhead, reach and pull. Driving those elbows back and in, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Beautiful. Back to a chest press. And bicep curls, they're quick, pretend like you're holding weight. Elbows are in. You got it. All right, changing the legs, keep the biceps, knee lifts up and down. Knees, knees. So bringing the knees all the way up to the chest, standing tall, perfect. All right, keeping those knee lifts, add an overhead reach with those arms. We're gonna press, I guess it's more of a press up. Good. Lift, lift, Whew. eight, seven, six. This is gonna transition right to an a hip opener, step touch, looks like this. Hip open, step. Hip open, step. So it's like we combine the knee lift with that step touch movement. Feel free to stay here if you like, add a half or a quarter squat, whatever feels good at the movement or at the moment. This is still the warm up, so no need to do a full squat. Whew. Just make sure those hips are back. Squeeze the glutes on top. 10 more seconds. Just like this, very nice. And then we're gonna do small kicks and punch it out. In three, two, finish the last one. Pick a punch, shake it out. All right, another little mini combo. We're gonna do a few good mornings and that's gonna warm up your hamstrings, start to wake them up a little bit and working those glutes and that lower back. And then we're gonna incorporate some of these kicks. So plant those feet, about shoulder width apart, hands behind, abs are tight, pull the elbows back, soft knees, hinge forward, come up, squeeze the glutes. Now if that's too much, please feel free to shorten that range of motion. Inhale, exhale, three more, three. So what's coming up is we're gonna do one good morning and then four alternating kicks and punches like we did. One more. All right, so let's do the kick and punch first for four, three, two, plant those feet. Good morning, one time. Inhale, exhale, and then kick it out. Four, good, three, two, plant the feet, down. Three more just like that, so you get to shake it out here. And then focus on that stretch, down and up. Maybe with each one, a touch deeper for that good morning. Inhale, exhale. Last combo like that. Beautiful, hands behind, bend and come up. Good, walk it out, shake it out. Give yourself a little bit of room in front. We're taking this to an inchworm walkout and in alternating low lizard stretches. So what this looks like, I'm gonna start with my big breath up reach. Exhale, fold it down, knees are soft, bend as much as you need to. Walk it out, high plank, once you're here. Step one foot out, outside of the hands. Option, add that twist. Other foot, push the hips down, then pop them up. 
walk it back one vertebrae at a time, come up. I'd love for you to do three to four of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and do three more, but you take your time. Core is tight, especially when you go on that plank. So this is activating all those muscles, making sure we're properly warmed. Reach. Good, one of my favorite full body stretches. This is nice to do even on its own. Whew. Good. All right, get your last one or two in. I'm gonna make this one my last one. But you take your time. Step and open, step and open. Fabulous. And bring it back. Finish the one you're on, and then when you're ready, join me with some shoulder rolls. A few going backwards. Woo, a few going forward. We're finishing up this warm up. Feet a little wider, the shoulder width apart. Lateral lunge stretch. You can dip the shoulder a bit if you like, and really just feel it in those inner thighs. Four. Three. Last two. And then after your final one, walk the feet in like we started. We're gonna end with the flat back. Round it up. Inhale, reach up to your ceiling. Exhale out, one more time, feet together on the toes, reach. And let it out, great job. Grab a drink, come back, and we'll start with block one. Here's your first move in block number one. We're combining a prisoner squat with alternating outer thighs. So for prisoner squats, hands like behind the head, pull the elbows back, squat down, abductor lift, plant that foot, we go the other way. You can definitely shorten this range of motion or place the hands on the hips and not lift the leg as high. All right, we're starting in about 10 seconds, so make sure that you don't really have anything near around you that you might kick over. <laughs> All right, 45 seconds of work. Hands behind in three, two, let's go for the squat first. Down and lift. So with this move, we're obviously working legs. So I really want you to think about squeezing the glutes on top, even as a bonus, lift the pelvic floor. I like to sneak that in as well. And then when you're lifting that leg up, we're also getting a little bit of those obliques. So sink low, like you're into that chair, change your mind, come up. And then there's your modified version. Good. Keep it up, we have about 16 seconds left. Remember, just 20 seconds of rest in between. So when you work, really work it. When you rest, do nothing. <laughs> Good. Woo, three, two, and walk it off. Good. Next move is a set of burpee thrusters. Let me show you the high version first, then I'll demonstrate low. So it's a thruster because we're not gonna go down for the push-up. We're just gonna kick out, come up, jump up. Take on all the hops. Modification, come up. As a lower modification, hands against the wall and do like a standing mountain climber, bring the knees up and down. We're going in three, two, let's go. Full burpee thruster here. Or you can even reach up with the arms if you like that. It's totally a preference. Low version, bend the knees, out, out, and in stand. Or like I've done before, hands against a wall if you don't like going down and just do like a big march or slow standing mountain climber there. All right, we're about halfway through time. Whew. Keep it up. Make sure you're bending through those knees. Core is tight, whichever version you're doing. There's your low again. Whew. Keep it up, keep it up. Six seconds. One or two more in. Three, two, finish the one you're on. Good job. Next move, alternating reverse lunge rotations. Now, stepping back, I'm gonna step, rotate towards the side of the leg that's forward, come up, center, other way. Working core stabilization and balance. Those obliques and obviously those legs. Three, two, let's go. So here's your full and then I'll show you an option. If you're not liking that twist, hands on the hips. You can do alternating full reverse lunges or shorten that range of motion. Totally up to you. If you're here, get nice and low, hold the stationary and really rotate from the waist. Beautiful. About 20 seconds left. Whew. 
You're doing great. Almost done with that first round of block one already. Good. Eight seconds. Stay with it. One more move after this in three, two, and stop. Good work. Final move, high intense cardio with some butt kicks. Butt kicks or hamstring curls. If you're doing butt kicks, slight lean forward, kicking those heels all the way up to the glutes. Hamstring curls, take out that bounce, curl the legs up and down. All right, we've done this on many warm ups in the past. Okay, are you ready? This is your last move. Three, two, let's go. Well, technically, last move in block one, round one, then we get the joy of doing this again. Here's your low. Hamstring curls, kick those heels up, right? Whew. And if you have the space, you can move this around. You don't have to stay in place. Just remember, slight lean forward just a little bit. Core is tight. This is gonna shoot that heart rate way up if it's not already. All right, so coming up after this, we'll get a water drink, and then we're gonna get your second round in. Same amount of time for work and rest. Four, three, two, get one more, and walk it out, good job. Pause this video, grab a drink, and I'll meet you back here for round number two. Welcome back. We're on to round two of block number one. Still on 45 seconds on, 20 second rest. First move, quick review, prisoner squats, alternating abductor or outer thigh lifts, really extending that leg, modified hands on the hips, shortening that range of motion. All right, we have about six seconds until we start. So get in position, hands behind, open up. Three, two, let's hit it. Down and up. My goal for you, make the second round better than the first round. And that's gonna be for all the sets. First rounds are to get to know the moves, figure out what we're doing. Second round is to master them. Bigger than you did before. So even if you're still here, I challenge you to maybe go down an inch farther, lift the leg up an inch higher. Anything to just make it a better set than it was the first time. Yes, Whew, 12 seconds. Breathe. And if you want to keep your heart rate up higher in between sets, keep a light march or jog in place. Good, after this. And stop, nice work. One of my favorite moves, burpee thrusters are next. Quick review, hands down, kick out. Kick in, hop up, modify this, step it out, step it in a stand. More modification, hands against a wall. And just do slow knee drives up and down. All right, we're going in five. Give yourself space. Three, two, let's do it. Down and up. Heels down. Good. Modification coming up. Same movement. No impact. Step in and up. And then your third option, hands against that wall. Drive the knees up to the chest. Still making a really big movement. Again, we wanna keep that heart rate elevated whichever version you're doing. You know what's best for you. Challenge yourself. And don't forget to breathe. <laughs> Switch out this one. Whew. Finish strong. Three, two, finish it. Awesome, walk it out. Reverse lunge rotations. Walk or march it out while I'm demonstrating. Step, balance. Center back, not feeling that. Traditional alternate reverse lunges or shorten that, that range of motion if you do not care for lunges. Four seconds we begin. Three, two, here we go. Step hold, Woo, find the balance, especially those first couple. Getting into it. Push up with that base heel, core is engaged. Modification, no twist, shorter range. But if you're feeling good, I encourage you, try that full range with the twist. It is a challenge, especially if you're not used to doing a lot of twisting away from the center line with your moves. Just 10 seconds left. 
Then we finish with butt kicks. Amazing work. Three, two, and stop. Good work. Butt kicks are finishing block number one. You know what to do. Kick those heels up. Do some hamstrings, whatever you like. My goal for you is just to keep moving, whatever version it is. All right, let's finish this first block strong in three, two, here we go. Remember, slight lean forward. Bring those heels up. Whew. Do whatever you like with the arms. If you actually want to bring the heart rate higher, add a pump up. Low. Low. Or you can add that overhead. And this is a way to get the heart rate up high with the lone pack version, right? So you can still increase that heart rate with no hopping. Whew, 15 seconds. Rub it around if you want. <laughs> Good job. Come on. Kick your way all the way to block two. <laughs> Four, three, two, whoo. Walk it out. Good work. You've made it to block two. Starting off, you're gonna need a little bit of space. We're kicking off with a set of side shuffles, alternating four knee skips. So for the full version, we're gonna go down and up, however you have room for it. Four skips, four shuffle, four skips. Feel free to do a double step touch and do those knees in place without the skip. All right, we're gonna go in five seconds. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Nice and low. Four, three, two, one, skip. Good. Here's your low version. Double step touch. Four knees. If you don't have room for double step touch, you can do four single step touches and then do four alternate knee lifts. Up to you. Work with what best with your space and your fitness level. Whew. Good. Three, two, one. Beautiful. About seven seconds left. Can you give me one more? Yeah, three, two, and walk it out. Next move, we're down on the ground. It's a push-up, alternating renegade row. Full version, hands and toes, abs in. Push-up down, core's tight, hip steady, row, row. Modified version, I drop it down to the knees. You can also do this as a standing wall push-up. All right, we're going in three, two, let me show you the toes version first. Push-up. Core is tight, hip steady, row, row. Like you're pretending to hold weights, but still squeezing that elbow tight on top. Maybe hold for a second or two on the top end. Modified version, same thing. You can take it nice, low push up, deeper range of motion. If that's too much, shorten the range of motion. And then if you're standing against a wall, hands here, down and up, and just stick with the push ups. We have about 12 seconds left. Keep it up. Row, row. There's your toe. Row, row. Four, three, two, and stop. Back up, we're hitting a set of spider lunges. Spider lunges are essentially an alternating curtsy lunge. Staying low in that squat, curtsy lunge other way. Now, if you need to, take a pause and stand in between and then hit that curtsy. Like always, you can shorten that range of motion for modification. Three, two, let's go. So if you're staying low, we're here. Lower you go, more intense. If you need to take that break, you stand in between, hit that curtsy. You can even shorten that range even more. And just give kind of a light angle tap back. You choose for the next 25 seconds. Woo. Like always, core is tight. Squeeze the glutes and breathe. We're zipping through this. Only one exercise left in this block. Four, three, two, give me one more and walk it out. Good. Final move, 
is an inchworm with an alternating knee to elbow. So we did inchworms in the warm up. We're gonna walk it out, hold the plank, knee to one elbow, knee to the other elbow, come up and then stand. Down and up, knee elbow. Now to modify this one, you can remove that knee to elbow or just go ahead and hold a high plank. Ready? Let's go. Walk it out, high plank, knee knee, walk out, come up. Ooh. Knee, knee. Very nice. So you have the option, if you're not feeling that knee, do your traditional inchworm and come up. Or again, hold a stationary plank, hands and toes or hands and knees, making sure to keep that core tight, hips steady. Boom. Keep it up, keep it up. Extended recovery after this in about 10 seconds. Can you get one or two more in? Stay with it. It's about four seconds left, finish the one you're on. Come up, walk it out, grab a drink. Round two's coming. Welcome back. We're on to round two of block number two. Kicking it off, we have those shuffles. Four knee skips. Option for the shuffles, double step touch, four knees in place, or you can do four single step touches, four alternating knees, if you don't have room for that shuffle. All right, we're going in about six seconds. Find your place. Ready? Three, two, get low, shuffle with me. Four, three, two, one, shuffle. Four, three, good. Whew. I'll do the uh, double step touch next. Double step touch, four of these. You got it. Come on, make each one count. About 20 seconds left. Whew. You're doing amazing. I know, definitely sweat his own. <laughs> awesome, last 10. Breathe. Three, two, finish the one you're on, and walk it out. Good work. It's a push up, alternating renegade row. Full version, hands and toes, abs in. Push up down, core is tight, hip steady, row, row. Modified version, I drop it down to the knees. You can also do this as a standing wall push up. All right, we're going in three, two, let me show you the toes version first. Push up, core is tight, hip steady, row, row. Like you're pretending to hold weights, but still squeezing that elbow tight on top. Maybe hold for a second or two on the top end. Modified version, same thing. You can take it nice, low push up, deeper range of motion. If that's too much, shorten the range of motion. And then if you're standing against a wall, hands here, down and up, and just stick with the push ups. We have about 12 seconds left. Keep it up. Row, row. There's your toe. Row, row. Four, three, two, and stop. Spider lunges. Review, curtsies, staying low, modification, come up to stand in between, or you can just do a light tap back, alternating sides. Whew, this one and one other exercise is left in block two. Four. All right, ready? Let's do it. Down, low. So remember what I said the first time of a second round of block one? Make the second round better than the first. If you're feeling good, get a little lower. If you did this version last time, maybe try to add a little softer bent knee, right? Whew, listen to your body. You're capable of more than you know. Don't forget that. Apply it to this workout. Eight seconds. Woo! Beautiful job. Three, two, I'm gonna get one more. And walk it out. Inchworms with those side knee taps. Walk it out, high plank hold, abs in. Knee, knee, 
walk it back. Modification is to remove those knees or just hold the high plank, hands and toes, or hands and knees position. All right, four seconds we start. Three, two, let's go. This is your last exercise in round two, block two. Whew, make it count, make it good, make it strong. Get that knee up. All right, my challenge for myself is to see if I can get my knee to actually tap my elbow, because I did not do that. There we go, the first time. What is your goal? Make it now, and then do it. Woo. Guys, we only have one more block after this. Can you believe it? Flying by. Breathe. Hamstrings feeling it. About five seconds left. Finish the one you're on. Three, two, come up, walk it out, get a drink. Block three is coming. For block number three, we're down on the ground. So if you have your mat, set it up. We're starting off with a star crunch. Lay all the way down on your back. Legs out, arms out wide. Inhale, exhale, crunch yourself into a ball, lifting your head up, shoulder blades off the mat. Your modification for this move is same body movement, head stays rested on the ground. All right, 45 seconds on, 20 second rest. Three, two, let's go. Inhale out, so big exhale through the mouth when you come in. Feeling good, can you make this even bigger? Crunch, extend. Neck is fatigued or you're not feeling that head lift, you stay right here. Good. Really feeling that core. But this is actually a full body exercise because your arms and legs are moving as well. So don't just flare them out, right? Do it with control, extend, and really pull in tight. Inhale, exhale. Making sure there's no space between your lower back and your mat, very important. Three, two, and when you're ready, drop the head. For your next move, we get to stay on your back. We're doing a hip bridge with an abduction squeeze. So for this one, feet are together, knees flare out, upper body gets to stay relaxed. Abs in, pelvic tilt, lift the hips, tap those knees in, open, and then lower. Exhale, squeeze those inner thighs together, and down. Not feeling that? You're doing a traditional hip bridge. Here we go, lift. I'll demonstrate the hip bridge in a moment. Those 20 seconds goes fast. Your hip bridge is gonna be feet down and you're just gonna lift up and lower. If the hip bridge is just not in the cards, you're gonna do a little pelvic tilt instead. So those are your options. Squeeze, and if you're here, when you hold up, I want you to squeeze the glutes, keep the abs tight, lift the pelvic floor. Again, this is one of those sneaky bonus moves with bridge movements. Good, up, squeeze, you got it. So you're working those abductors, outer thighs when you come out, working those adductors, inner thighs when you come in. Three, two, and stop, good. For your next move, we're flipping it over and going into a high plank and doing some rotations. Hands and toes, abs are tight. All we're gonna do is turn, rotate, open up that top arm, swivel, turn and rotate. This move can definitely be done on the knees as well. Or if you're not feeling rotation, hang out with a modified plank or high plank. We're going in three seconds. Ready? Let's go. Open, down, open. Now my feet are swiveling pretty easily with shoes on, but if you're on a surface that doesn't let you swivel, feel free to step those feet and adjust as needed. Knees here, here, or you're holding that stationary plank or high plank position. Whew. You have about 17 seconds left. Keep it going. Breathe. Rotate, press. Rotate, lift. Whew. Good job, core is tight. Three, two, and stop, bring it down. For the last exercise, we're actually gonna break it up into two sets, working one side at a time. We're combining a clam with a hip lift. Now for this move, elbow down, elbow directly under the shoulder, knees are stacked, lift the hip, lift that top leg, 
and bring it down. Exhale, inhale. Modification is just to stick with that clam and keep the hip down the whole time. All right, we're gonna go in four seconds. Pick a side, whichever you like, and let's go. Lift and lower. So embrace the core. You're gonna feel those obliques and glutes. Just about everything. <laughs> Good, lifting down. And if you're not feeling that hip lift, you're here. I forgot to show this option earlier. You can even rest your head in your hand and then just do the clam instead. All right, so do what's best for you. Just exhale, lift, inhale down. Ooh, we have about 17 seconds left. We seem to look at it right when it's 17 seconds. That's an odd number. <laughs> Good, squeeze and lower. You got it. Ooh, feeling it now, you've been feeling the shoulder a bit. Three, two, and stop. Let's do the other side. Clams with those hip lifts are coming up. You know your options, but quick review. Elbow under the shoulder, knees are stacked. Pop the hip up, lift. You can keep the hip down or rest your head in your hands and just focus on that clam. All right, 45 seconds, last set in round one. Three, two, let's do it. Pop up and down. Tummy's tight, squeeze the glutes. And just like before, lift the pelvic floor. You know, sneaky pelvic floor movements. Whew. I feel like me, I don't think honestly to do them as much during the daytime, but I'm more aware when I'm working out to do those kegels, that lifting motion on the exercises or certain exercises. And this is definitely one of them. Whew. 12 seconds, and then you'll get your final extended recovery. And then we'll hit one more round, and then stretch out. Four, three, two, and stop. Great job, get a drink. Round two's coming. Welcome back, let's kick it off. Second round of your final block. Star crunches, arms and legs out. Tuck yourself into a ball. Option, keep your head down. All right, final round, final exercises. Make it the best yet. Take a breath, get in position. Ready? Let's go. In, extend. Remember, strong. We're not flaring with those arms and legs. We're pulling in tight. Nice. Ooh. So even if you're doing this version with your head down, I want you to keep the arms and legs strong. And also to make this more intense, legs are lower, but make sure that there's no arch in that lower back. So if you need to, find an arching, bring the legs up if engaging your core is still causing it. Good, lift. Oh my goodness, core is definitely feeling it more this final round. I feel like we worked at the entire workout. Whew. Breathe. Three. Two, hug the knees in, drop the head. Hip bridges are coming up, adding that AB and AD adduction, right? Down the lift, or you can do your traditional hip bridge up and down. Your choice. All right, a few seconds. Ready? <laughs> Get in position, relax your upper body, breathe, and let's do it. Lift, squeeze in, open out. Whew. Very nice. Tummy's tight. Squeeze the glutes. Even if you're doing your traditional hip bridge only, still again, squeeze the glutes, abs in, do that little pelvic tilt. Good. Up. Squeeze. Can you squeeze even harder or in a little bit more than that first round? Good. Challenge for myself is going to be to get those knees to tap and then open. You don't necessarily have to do that, but that's just my individual goal. Breathe. Woo! So good. Three, two, and stop. Good work. High plank rotations are coming up. Assuming that high plank rotate or high plank position, rotate and open, rotate and open. Feel free to drop the knees or just hold your stationary, modified, or full plank. All right, get in position. Four seconds we go. Core is tight. Three, two, let's do it. Open, 
down, open down. So really swiveling, working those obliques as well. If you're on the knees here, turn and open, turn and open, or stay stationary, shoulders back, abs tight, squeeze the glutes, or stationary here. Come on, finish these strong. Only one more exercise after this. You got it. Breathe. Woo! Awesome work. Come on, fight for these last few seconds. You're doing amazing. Three, two, and stop. Quick stretch. Nice. Pick a side, any side. We have clams. All right, clams with that hip lift. Quick review, knees are stacked. We pop that hip up, feet stay hinged together. You can do it here, or you can rest your head in your hands. All right, starting in seven seconds, get in position. Deep breath. Three, two, let's knock these out. Remember, two sets, technically, because you're doing each side individually. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, lower. Modification, you're here or you can be right here and just focus on that clam movement. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Yes. You're about halfway through time. Squeeze, lift, and down. I know, this one gets hard earlier. <laughs> I feel like it does, I don't know about you. Lift, down, and really keep that core engaged the entire time for support. Awesome. Three, two, good. Take your time, flip it over. Last and final side for your clams. Remember, we're going to lift up, down. Feel free to keep your hip down. Feel free to place your hand in your head. Final, final exercise, and then we get a nice stretch after. All right, so coming up in three seconds, get in position, make a count. Let's go. Lift, down, come on, squeeze the glutes. Can you lift that top hip an inch higher? Yes, you can. Whew. Whew. Still not feeling that, you stay here, or hand down, and we're at this movement. Your choice. Come on, halfway, about 22 seconds left. I know it's in you. Breathe. Whew. Good job, good job. Fight through it. I'll let you know we are gonna finish um, with your stretch on the floor, so keep your mat where it's at. In four, three, two, and bring it down. Nice job. Grab a quick drink. Let's finish off with a nice stretch. Great job at that workout. Let's stay on the ground for your stretch. Go into tabletop position, hands and knees, Let's do some cat cows. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, push the floor away, round that spine. I like to add some little circles, hip circles. That's up to you. Let the heart rate come down. Center up, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, pull it in. Let's circle the other way. Drop the hips down and around, taking your time. And center up, flat back. One more cat cow, do it more traditional. Pull it in, flat back. Get neutral spine. Take one side, let's do some knee circles. Go forward, inhale, exhale around. We're gonna go four times each direction. Nice and slow, nice and big. Good, then reverse, inhale, exhale. Awesome. And then we'll do the same thing other way. Set that knee down, other knee. Forward, inhale, exhale around. Good, and then reverse. Pull back and around. Beautiful job. Set that knee down. All right, we're gonna take it either to a child's pose or you can take it to a downward facing dog. Those are your two options. I'm gonna go down dog, and if you're with me, curl your toes, engage the core, lift the knees, inhale. Exhale, pop those hips up. Pedal out those heels. Head is relaxed, shake out, 
shake it out how you like. And then we're gonna press the heels down. I'm gonna extend my left leg up in the air and then bend the knee, open up the hip, roll the ankle a few times one direction, roll a few times the other way. Extend that leg straight and then we're gonna take it to a lizard. Inhale, exhale, set that foot to the outside of the hands. Now for this one, you can keep your knee up, you can keep it down, I'm actually gonna bring it down. And different things you can do. You can add rotations. You can take it down onto your forearms. You can even add a thoracic rotation, which I'm gonna show you today. Hand behind, rotate towards the other hand on the ground, and then open up. And if you're doing this one, maybe four or five, it doesn't have to be a lot. If you're staying stationary, just breathe through that stretch. And I'm gonna get two more of these. One more. Good. And then bring the hand down or center up if you moved. And we're gonna shift it back, bring this foot in just a little bit for your hamstring. And so for hamstring stretches, I do like to add a little bit of movement in it. Um, if you like to stay stationary, that's fine. If that's too challenging, you can definitely bring your, bend your knee a little bit more. But do what's best for you. And then we're gonna walk the hands back forward, pick up that other knee, go back to a high plank, and then child's pose or downward facing dog. Reset, and then let's get the other side. When you're ready, right leg extends up, bend the knee, open up the hip, roll the ankle how you like, and then reverse directions. Extend that leg straight, inhale, exhale, set the foot to the outside of the hands, Drop the knee if you want, lizard stretch, rotations, elbows, or you can add that rotation. I'm gonna do that since I did it the first side. And it might even feel a little bit different on both sides. Good. Exhale, rotate, inhale. I'm gonna get two more, but if you're staying stationary, just breathe through it. Finish your last one. Center up, get back on your hands if you are down. And then shift it back for your hamstring, wiggle that foot in a little bit. Add some rocks. If that's too intense, bend the knee a little more. If you're flexible, feeling good, feel free to sink back into it more. Good. I'm almost done. Woo. Good work. And slowly bring it up, keep the back knee down. Hand comes in the inside, swivel back. Inhale, exhale, sink back for that child's pose. Two breaths, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And final time, inhale, breathe. And exhale out. Shall we bring it up? You are all done for today. Great job, thank you so much for working out with me. And I'll see you next time. Great job on completing that workout. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. If you have any workout requests, please leave a comment in this video. My name is Allison. Thank you so much for working out with me, and I look forward to seeing you next time.